the four valiant houses of Ascon depicting the red, the green, the blue and the gold representing the whole school are in attendance right before you. These are the four houses which symbolize the honor of St. Paul's High School. The four houses are school band led by Master Jervis de Souza will be in attendance. Oh, good! So good! Hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. The audience is requested to kindly stand in attention as we warmly welcome our chief guest for today's function, the parents of the Boys of the Year 2022-23. We are honored to have you in our midst. We also welcome our guest, our rector, Father Ronnie de Souza, Principal, Reverend Father Dr. Savio Abrio, our Vice Principal, Reverend Father Sebastian Pereira, Teacher Nandini Pai, the headmistress of the high school, Teacher Lineria Swami, the headmistress of the primary section, Teacher Rupa Tarichal, the headmistress of Sunbeam Nursery, and Teacher Lira D'Souza, headmistress of St. Paul's Jesuit School, ICSC. We also extend a cordial welcome to all our SSRC students and their parents who are the guests of honor for this memorable event. The SD credits, meaning the dignitaries in slow march are Philip Alex Delano, Philip Stone Umranta, Philip Sumit Manwale, Philip Maswaras Yankanwale, Philip Kartik Sadarke, Philip Oswald Fernandez. boys who will assemble officially this evening 
to mark the end of their journey, for which we hope we have sufficiently prepared them. Every year we await the special event, the passing out parade, which brings to a close the school career of a new batch of SSLC students who have spent 12 long years in the premises of St. Paul. These students entered the school in the year 2011 as tiny tots, not knowing why they came completely dependent on new parents who held their hands and brought them here for a purpose. As the 12 long years have passed swiftly, they have grown up from little boys to today's fully grown young men with a mind of their own and we hope with the purpose of being men for others. As we have so often reminded them, we have trained them in every way we could and it is now left to them as mature young men to develop even further the polite vision of service and hard work which we have instilled in them. This is our wish and prayer for each of the SSLC students as they march out of the school symbolically for the last time and we all stand as witnesses before God and our country hoping that they will fulfill our wishes in this significant event, the passing out parade. The SSLC students will now enter in a slow march. We welcome these young men in our midst to celebrate the event of their passing out. The SSLC students will now move towards the days in a slow march. the master will be with you. The fourth standard boys are here to praise and thank God for the gift of each one of you dear SSLC students and for the academic years you have spent in this institution. As you launch out from this school into the world, live in harmony with God's creation like the lotus and the peacock and bloom to the fullest wherever you go.
साथ कर उस पे तो हक बस खुदा का ही है तू और से इस कदर पे जैसे तू चाहे वो तुझसे मेरे To be inspired is great, but to be an inspiration is an honor. We are profoundly delighted to introduce the chief guest for the day, the parents of the boys of the year. I now call upon Master Joy Dalmut to introduce the chief guest and the guest of honor. The key to the book is the introduction of higher dimensions of consciousness into our awareness. I am honored to introduce to you all today's chief guests, parents of the boy of the year and guests of honor, parents of the first and second runners-up for the year 2022-23. Dr. Matthew K. Jones. Father of Master Joseph Matthews, he is a senior scientist affiliated with the Premier Research Institute for Water Resources Research. The National Institute of Hydrology, Rurki, Uttarakhand State, under the Ministry of Geology, the National Test for the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research. CSIR Research Fellowship Program and got selected for conducting independent research in a national lab. He then chose to work with the prestigious Vikram Sarabhai Space Center VSSC ISRO at Trivandrum to do his doctoral studies. However, upon being selected at the National Institute of Hydrology in Ruki, he joined the institute leaving ISRO. He has been guiding master's and doctoral thesis of students in IITs, NEETs and universities like VTU. Further, he has been serving in a number of official committees in the relevant areas formed by the central state government tribunals. Mrs. Jenny Maria Matthew, mother of Master Joseph Matthews, has been primarily a homemaker and she was also a lecturer in chemistry in the Rashtra Military School, Belgavi. She passed SSLC from the D. Paul English Medium High School in Kottayam district of Kerala. In the years to follow, she pursued a B.Sc. degree in chemistry from the Mahatma Gandhi University, Kerala. Later, she moved on to New Delhi and continued her higher studies 
in chemistry, obtaining MSc in inorganic chemistry from the prestigious Delhi University. Later, with a view to pursue a career in teaching, she did B.Ed. in Physical Science and Mathematics from the Karnataka University, Darbar. Being a dedicated and efficient teacher, she has been remembered with respect among hundreds of her ex-students who has excelled in various fields throughout India. Boy of the Year, first runners up, Master Shreya Sankandi, Mr. Hore Basapan Gandhi, father of Shreya Sankandi, is a true master of his craft. With a B.Com degree from STC Commerce College in Karnataka and an LLB from B.B. Bellar Law College, Lingraj Campus, Belgavi. He has built a successful career as a GST and income tax practitioner, serving as the president of Belgan District Tax Practitioners Association and a valued member of the Karnataka State Tax Practitioners Association. Mrs. Vidya Angandi, mother of Shreya Sangandi, the epitome of grace, elegance and compassion, is a homemaker with a BCom degree. She has dedicated her life to creating a warm and nurturing environment for her family. She is not only a devoted homemaker, but also serving as a director of Shiv Yogi Cooperative Society. Razin Jamada, second Ranaza. Mr. Tanvir Emma Jamada, father of Razin Emma Jamada, is a graduate with a bachelor's degree and master's in computer applications. He is pursuing PhD from BTU. He is presently working as an assistant professor at STM Engineering College, Darwa. Mrs. Raija Jamada, mother of Razin Emma Jamada, is a graduate with bachelor's degree from Kittel College, Darwa, a master's in computer application from Karnataka University, Darwa. She is presently working as an information officer in shared groups of institutions by Gabi. Thank you. As a loving token of appreciation, we would like to present saplings to all our honored guests on the days. Master Anshut Patel, 
Master Arjun Vardhanti and Master Joel D'Souza sung by all of us, led by the voice of the school choir and accompanied by our school band.
the lamp has a deep intellectual and spiritual significance. It signifies knowledge that all our activities should be governed by light. The ignorance of darkness is dispelled. We now have the most awaited event of the day, the torch ceremony. The torch will be lit with a candle brought from the school chapel, symbolizing purity and spirituality. Father Sebastian will bring it to the days, escorted by the NCC colleagues. Here at St. Paul's, we not only stress on the academics, but much more on spirituality. Hence, making life more meaningful for our students. A bright torch, which we have got hold of for the moment, and we want to make it burn as brightly as possible before handing it over to the future generation.
brightness and beauty to the world, the light that spreads its spectrum of multicolors, you are invited to be men for others and render your service to society. Audience, can you receive it? Academic and 
extracurricular activities in the school.
the teachers are requested those who are very close to the days please come them Teachers are requested, those who are very close to the days, please come. Boys of Standard 9 are requested to sit. SSLC boys are kindly requested to kindly be seated in their places. Dear SSLC boys, with love and care, your teachers have The boys of Standard 9 are requested to sit. SSLC boys are kindly requested We have an official photographer, so parents are requested to kindly be seated in their places. Dear SSLC boys, with love and care, your teachers have nurtured you. They have tried to help you grow in mind and body. Today, we only wish you good luck. These mementos symbolize our blessings. Good luck. These mementos symbolize our blessings and love. All the best for a bright future.
because the rippling lakes and the lofty snow-clad mountains of Kashmir, all these make Kashmir a breathtakingly beautiful paradise to visit and admire. Kashmir is also known for its arts, poetry, music, architecture and traditional folk dances. So here we have before you our little Kashmiris of Standard 1 who wish to captivate <laughs>
महाराष्ट्राला समृद्ध आणि थोर प्राचीन सांस्कृतिक परंपरा लाभलेली आहे अख्या जगाशी महाराष्ट्राचं अतूट नातं जोडलेला प्रत्यक्ष प्रभू रामचंद्रांच्या पादस्पर्शाने ही भूमी पावन झाली आहे श्री छत्रपती शिवरायांची ही कर्मभूमी आहे सर्वांच्या जीवनातील एक गोड आठवण म्हणजे आपलं बालपण म्हणूनच संत कवी तुकाराम बुवा देवाकडे मागण मागतात लहानपण देजा देवा मनोरंजन हे मराठी जीवनाचे अविभाज्य अंग आहे नेहमीच धावपळीच्या जीवनात मनोरंजन हे हवंच कारण मनोरंजन हेच बालपणाचे लक्षण आणि याच मनोरंजनातून मैत्रीचं अतूट नातं जोडलं जातं ते कसं हे प्रत्यक्ष सादर कर
जगत हाले भारी इमोशंस ने भर ले ली कर्जाला भिड़नारी यारी ये लड़ाई चलाए या तो भिड़ाई चलाए आडवाला जला सोड़ाई चलाए या भी सोमत है या भी पावर है धन का तुम्हारा सोचाई चलाए अपनी यारी
you will surely miss each one of them. St. Paul's High School is a land of opportunities where we learn to be men for our gratitude to all the Jesuit fathers, principals, vice principals of my alma mater and to all my much loved teachers right from the Sunbeam Nursery to the high school who like candles ignited themselves to give us a bright future. Our teachers accepted us as one among their own family beginning that we will have to move out of our school and step into a larger world to shape our own destiny. So let us sit back and recollect all our priceless memories and rejoice in them. Let us not cry because it's over, but be happy because it happened. Down the years, each one of us will be working in different parts of the world at reputed positions. But always remember that to make a building strong, the foundation should be strong too. And our foundation is St. Paul's High School. So, my dear companions, no matter which corner of the world we are or what profession we are in, the only thing which is the tapestry that will forever bind us together is the fact that we are Paulites and we are men for others. Dear SSLC brothers, never forget the chess with values that are imbibed in you by all our chess with fathers, teachers and collaborators. Always aim for marches, which means finding excellence in whatever you do. I would like to end with the words quoted by St. John Berkman's a chess with scholastic, which says, Our true worth does not consist in what others think of us. What we really are consists in what God knows us to be. May the love of Mother Mary strengthen us and bring us peace. May she embrace us under her tender care and intercede for us. Let us follow the words of St. Ignatius of Loyola, the founder of our society. Put God first in whatever you do. May the strength of God sustain us. May the power of God preserve us. May the hands of God protect us. May the way of God direct us. And may the love of God go with us as we take the next step in our life's journey. This is Master Joseph Matthews, your former assistant school pupil leader and the present boy of the year, signing off. Thank you. Goodbye. God bless. Thank you, Joseph. With a broad smile and a big round of applause.
heard a very touching farewell address by Master Joseph Matthews. I now call upon the present school pupil leader, Master Sushil Dev Rani, to respond to the farewell address. Good evening, everyone. Respected chief guest, another guest, on the days. Manager, Reverend Father Ronald D'Souza, Principal, Reverend Father Dr. Slavio Abreu, a Vice Principal, Reverend Father Sebastian Pereira, Headmistress of the Three Flexions, Headmistress of the St. Paul's Jesuit School, ICSC, Teachers, and all my dear Associate Brothers who are about to start a new chapter in their life. While entering the portals of this school, you may have cried a lot as you never knew who will gather memories at each and every stage. Starting from the nursery rhymes that sang along with the Sunday teachers to solving the trigonometry sums in the high school. I've always learned from my seniors how to be united and experience the feeling of oneness in any circumstances. You are the biggest example of how to develop polite spirit. I want to wish each one of you all the best for your future board exams and your future endeavors that you face in your life. May God shower his choicest blessings upon you as you move ahead and take a new step in your life. Allow the words of God to guide you as you, as you move ahead towards greatness in your life. Thank you, goodbye, and may God always be with you until we meet again. Cinema. This place gave birth to many prominent writers, poets, artists, filmmakers and musicians who have contributed to the development of Bengali literature, music, fine arts, drama and cinema. The men traditionally wear dhoti and kurta and the women wear a white sari with a red border. The dhoti and kurta represent strength and stability while the white sari with the red border is a sign of purity and power. Now we present to you a Bengali boys of Standard 5 to display Bengal's rich and diverse culture through dance.
Today's chief guests, the parents of the boy of the year and the two runners-up, Mr. and Mrs. Matthews, Mr. and Mrs. Hanagandi and Mr. and Mrs. Jamada, our beloved rector, Father Ronald D'Souza, our vice principal, Father Sebastian Pereira, the three HMs of St. Paul School, and the HM of St. Paul's Jesuit School, ICSC, all our other esteemed dignitaries, the parents of the SSLC students, our outgoing SSLC students who are the stars of this evening, and my dear teachers, students, and other parents. I'm sure you have been enjoying this evening the different dances that we have seen, the different talents that have been displayed. But here today I would like to address more our SSLC students. The word a revoir, which is a French way of saying goodbye until we meet again. 
I'm sure this uh, revoir will be on the lips of our SSLC students today. Life is full of goodbyes and farewells. As we move from one stage of life to the other, from the speeches of the boy of the year, Joseph, and the SPL Sushil, we can detect mixed emotions of happiness, gratitude, and hope, just opposed with sadness and grief. And so today, I'm not here to give you advice, my dear SSLC students, because I'm sure you will be receiving a lot of advice. But what I would like to do is to pray for you in the words of St. Paul's in his letter to the Philippians. And I quote, I give thanks to my God every time I think of you. And I'm sure of this, that he who has begun the good work in during this academic year, 2022-23. I have put this under four or five points. The first point is new ways of school education. One of the things that we always pride ourselves here at St. Paul's is not just doing what people have done in the past, but setting the trend in a way, leading the way for others. And one of the things that we learned from the COVID pandemic is the use of artificial intelligence. And so right from last year, in the month of April 2022, we had fun summer activities like coding, basic electronics, programming, computer educational games, etc. So in a way, the children already began to learn these new techniques. Then during the year, in the month of September, we had a 10 days basic Python language programming course, which was conducted by Mr. Tim Michael Wiesbach from Germany. Hundreds of students have benefited from these courses. Then of course, we also pride ourselves, as I said, in being leaders. And the last three years we have been doing online admissions. Everything is online. We have designed the portal. We have designed all the uh, interface. Everything done. And now many other schools are following our model. The second point that I would like to speak about is it is not just students that learn things in the classroom. We know classroom teaching is important, but much more the practical aspect of what they learn in the classrooms. And this year, we have organized a history educational tour to Goa for the 9th standard boys. And we also have an industrial tour for the 9th standard boys. These are all things where, right from the classroom, what they learn becomes alive when they go to the different sites. So it's not just something that they read in the books, but something that they experience. So a practical application which will remain with them and which helps them in the future. The other point that I would like to mention is, here at St. Paul's, we always believe in unearthing talent. It is not just again restricted to the academics, but much more, but much more going beyond academics. And during this year, we had on the occasion of the 75th Independence Day celebrations of our nation, St. Paul's organized an inter-school talent competition. This was organized on 16 August 2022. And the theme for this unique event was Freedom is the Oxygen for the Soul. 
in all 574 students and 19 mentors from 19 city schools participated in this unique event. Besides that, in the month of November, we had the Pedro Aruke Talent Fest, where we had about 15 to 20 different competitions where our students could take part and unearth the hidden talents that they had. During Christmas, we had the Christmas housewise and class-wise competitions. Carol singing, star making, card making, notice board competitions, etc. Again, another opportunity for students to bring out their talents. Then on 3rd of December, we had a very special event, the Grand Alumni Meet. I'm sure here also, among the parents and the audience, we have several of our alumni, and nearly thousand of them came that day, where again the theme was back to school. And most of the programs were organized by our students. So the dances, the skit, the prayer song, and many other things were organized by our students in a way to appreciate the contribution of the alumni to the school. And finally, we have excelled, of course, in the field of sports. We had our sports day on 2nd of December. And then, right through the year, we have had a lot of our students excelling at the divisional level, taluka level, district, state, and even national level. And recently, about five of our boys went for Kelo India. They represented the state at the national level. It was in Madhya Pradesh, where two swimmers, and also in the field of athletics and other fields, we had our boys in Kelo India. So what we see here is, we give a platform to our students to be able to bring out their talents. Whether it is in extracurricular activities, whether it is in sports, in different fields. The next important point which already Joseph Matthew has highlighted in his speech is here we emphasize on value education, forming men for others. And one of the things that we have done, again as I said, a trend setting, we have a Besides what I have spoken so far, we have also had a series of sessions for our high school Catholic students. We took them to Xavier Training College at Desu. The theme was, Who Am I? A self-discovery, 8th, 9th and 10th standard students. And basically it was a training for each one of them to become God-fearing people and men of character. As I said, men for others. The second last point of mine is the ongoing formation that we have here, different programs at St. Paul's for staff, for parents. Because unless we build our faculty, unless we build up our parents, our students, we cannot aspire to do great things. And during the year we have had several workshops seminars for our staff. I wish to highlight one particular one, the transformational sessions that was conducted on 28th and 29th of October 2022 for our 9th and 10th standard students, the school cabinet, teachers and the BTA members by Mr. Sirish Sebastian, a world-renowned educator and trainer. He came from Pune, two days he was with us, and he conducted sessions. As we look forward to the future, what is important is, the first thing is, as I said, the reputation of any educational institution depends a lot on the quality of staff. I think that all of you will agree with me. A school is famous not because of the buildings, the infrastructure, 
but because of the human personnel that is there in the school. And therefore, as I thank our teachers, our staff, teaching, non-teaching, who have been doing a tremendous work, at the same time, good quality staff does not come cheaply. We need to invest in it. And therefore, from this coming year, we plan to invest and upgrade the staff salaries to the six pay scale. That is something that we have discussed with all the parents during the sessions we had in July 2022 and now we will be doing that from the coming year. Other infrastructure upgradation that we have is the fiber park which you can see behind me. We still need to do more work on that. We are planning a futsal ground which will be a fireside uh, football ground with a netting and lights. We are renovating our basketball court. We are going to make it state of the art with an astroturf and proper fiberglass type of uh, basketball court. We are renovating our school hall. Already the project has been passed. We are renovating our library. We are upgrading our smart class. I know there has been some problem with some of our smart classes. So we are putting about a dozen new LCD projectors in the coming year. Thank you for your patient listening. Thank you, Father. Oh, my God. 
ತಪ್ಪು ಸರಿಯಾತಿದ್ದಿ ತಿಳಿ ಹೇಳಿ ಸಮ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಚಿತ್ತ ಶುದ್ಧಿಯಾಗೋ ಹಾದಿ ಎಷ್ಟೇ ದೂರ ಹೋದ್ರು ಮರಿಬೇಡ ನಿನ್ನ ಬೇರು ನಿನ್ನ ಸಾಧನೆಗೆಲ್ಲ ಇಡುವೆ ಆದಿ ಅವಾರ್ಡ್ 
अर्पित शांतागिरी अवार्ड श्री लिंगप्पा होलकर अवार्ड श्री वी जी अध्यापक अवार्ड सदाशिव लाभित एंड लेन श्रीमती मल्यमति लाभित एंड रेवरिन पाल अवार्ड फॉर द बॉय सिक्योरिंग हाइस्ट मार्क्स इन मैथमेटिक्स इन द एस एस एल सी बोर्ड एग्जाम टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी टू ही ऑल्सो रिसीव एडवोकेट श्री रसन नशा अर्जन जी अवार्ड फॉर द बॉय सिक्योरिंग हाइस्ट मार्क्स इन हिंदी एंड मैथमेटिक्स मिसेस अजरा बंदुकवाला मंसूर बंदुकवाला अवार्ड फॉर द डिजर्विंग मुस्लिम स्टूडेंट ऑफ द ईयर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी टू अर्पित शांतिगिरी अवार्ड श्री लिंगप्पा होलकर अवार्ड श्री वी जी अध्यापक अवार्ड सदाशिव दबे एंड लेट श्रीमती मंदाकिनी दबे एंड रेवरेंट फादर ग्रेगरी डिसोजा अवार्ड फॉर द बॉय सिक्योरिंग हाइस्ट मार्क्स इन मैथमेटिक्स मिसेस के जी छत्री अवार्ड श्री एन एन रोडा अवार्ड मिस्टर लवाइन जोस फर्नांडिस अवार्ड फॉर सिक्योरिंग हाइस्ट मार्क्स इन साइंस एडवोकेट श्री रतन जरेश्वर रतन जी अवार्ड फॉर द बॉय सिक्योरिंग हाइस्ट मार्क्स इन साइंस and mathematics in SSLC board exam 2021-22 thank you sir our soul and strikes a chord within each one of us
now continue with the price. Mr. 
Jose Mari and Andy Lima Award to the school band instrumentalist goes to the following students. Nitin Algondi, Joel D'Souza, Abhishek Matwale,
the fourth place. The fourth place goes to Black House. Oh, no Black House, sorry. Okay. The fourth place goes to Red House. The third place, the third place goes to Gold House. Now it's getting more interesting. The second place, the second place goes to Green House. And the first place with 1,004 points goes to Blue House.
teacher Stella Bronsons, and teacher Madhavi Hegde. Reverend Father Konar Dissusa, School Principal, Reverend Father Dr. Savio Obrio, SSRC Boys, at the outset, my wife Jenny Matthew and I wish you all a very good evening. It is indeed a pleasure and privilege for us to be present here this evening for this solemn event. This is the time of passing out ceremony of the SSLC students of 2022-23 months. Dear boys, we wish and pray for your success in the coming board examinations and also in your life. Today, I stand here not on my merit, but because of the divine grace granted by way of our son, Master Joseph Matthews, the boy of the year 2023. I humbly acknowledge that there are many dedicated people who have directly or indirectly helped and contributed to his achievement, starting with his own family, his sisters, the principals of his prestigious school, class teachers, all the teachers, other staff, his friends and peer groups. We express our sincere gratitude to all of you. As parents, we have had no association with St. Paul's institutions starting from the year 2011. It was when our son began his former schooling in the Sunbeam Nursery School. We cherish very pleasant memories of St. Paul's and his ecosystem. The care and love rendered by the teachers, the support staff to these tiny boys at Sunbeam is beyond description. Later, in the St. Paul's High School, we noticed that the teachers taking care of not only the academic needs of these boys, but also giving humble attention to the overall development of their various faculties, whether it is sports, music, oratory skills, and above all, the human values. Dear boys, in St. Paul's, as your motto goes, you were taught to be men for others. I used to hear this often. Then I thought about it. To my mind, it is there is a word of caution. As the famous part of Shiv Kera goes like this, winners don't do different things. They do things differently. Winners don't do things different things. They do things differently. But the difference is in the choice that you make in your future lives. Let me conclude by recording a verse from the renowned poet Robert Frost. I'm sure you must have read this poem once any few years before. I thought I shall be telling this with a song. Somewhere ages and ages ends 
two roads diverged in a wood and I. I took the one less traveled by and that does make all the difference. Dear boys, two roads diverged in a wood and I. I took the one less traveled by and that has made all the difference. I uncovered once more, wishing you all great success, not only in your exams, but in your lives too. Thank you and God bless. Thank you, sir. Faith, belief, and religions of the different communities living in Assam. Assamese dancers are the most popular among music enthusiasts and are centered on topics such as Assamese New Year, farmers and many more. So here we warmly present to you our Assamese of Standard 8 who are very excited and happy to entertain you with their dance performance. Thank you. 
and Dr. Paranirvindran, Principal of St. Paul's Field College, for their valuable presence. Any program cannot achieve success without imparting sufficient training to the students. The wonderful songs and colorful performances of our students today reveal the zeal and zest put in by both our students and teachers. Our beloved teachers have put in their tireless efforts day in and day out in imparting the perfect training to the students, for which we are ever so grateful. Appreciation goes a long way as a motivator. The performance by our school band was one of the star events of the day. A big thank you to our physical education instructor, Sir Anton Souza, who guided and trained our band boys to put up such a captivating and electrifying performance. Thanks to Sir Parua, who has been continually coordinating and working behind the scenes for the success of today's program. A big thanks to our support staff who tirelessly worked in the background and performed their duties gracefully with a smile. I also express my sincere gratitude to our mentor and manager, Reverend Father Vanoth Sula, Principal Father Dr. Savio Abrao, Vice Principal Reverend Father Sebastian Pereira, and the head mistresses of the four sections for their able and for the able guidance. It is needless to say that today's program wouldn't have been such a grand success without their continuous supervision and monitoring. I once again thank everyone for their cooperation in making today's passing out parade a grand success and a memorable one for our SSLC students. Lastly, my dear SSLC boys, there are no goodbyes for us. Wherever you are, you will always be in our hearts, wishing you much joy and happiness as you begin a new chapter in your life. Thank you. May God bless us all. Thank you. We can light many more lights. Shine your light and make a positive impact on the world by enkindling the lights of many others. We now come to the most symbolic event of this evening the lighting of lamps. I request our principal to light the lamp of the best boys of the year, who will then go and light the lamps of the other boys and thus spread their light and goodness in the world. SSLC boys, kindly stand. We cannot light a lamp and keep it hidden under a bushel, but we need to spread our light around the whole world. The small lamps you hold in your hand represent each of you who were entrusted into our care 12 years ago and who now shine brightly. Learn to light a candle in the darkest moments of someone's life. Be the light that helps others see and spread this light wherever you go. and repeat after me. Almighty and ever-living God, you are the way, the truth, and the light. You enlighten every man who comes into this world. Guide us as we leave the light-filled paths of our beloved school, our beloved school. For, the unknown ways for the unknown ways of life, 
of light like the tiny flames like the tiny flames that we hold that we hold in our feeble hands in our feeble hands may we be may we be the shining light the shining light of saint paul of saint paul by the purity by the purity of our life of our lives the nobility the nobility of our ideals of our ideals and the sincerity and the sincerity of our services of our services and dedication and dedication in the cause of god in the cause of god and country and country enlighten us enlighten us with your wisdom with your wisdom and strengthen us and strengthen us with your grace with your grace so that so that we may shed we may shed your light around us your light around us and so shine and so shine before men before men that we may that we may always glorify you always glorify you our father our father in heaven in heaven thank you father i request the students of standard 9 to kindly stand eventually you are going to find good and goodbye here we have our school choir to sing now is the hour which is when we must say goodbye soon you will be leaving the portals of st paul's while you're away oh please remember us some day we will meet and we'll recall our days at school